Cyberbrainer is an online training platform designed to help individuals and teens learn the latest technologies and become certified professionals producing a comprehensive learning experience. So we will. Today, we will also see the same thing on contracts. I just want to show you on a contact request option. So we can create. Contact request. Procurement. Okay, I'm just creating a contract request. So I'll be creating a contract request test. So today is 9th August. CR Contract Request Demo Copy and paste. Let's close it now. Then add any of the amount which you are aware. I do not know. I'll be knowing laptop. I want effectively from 1st August. Experimentation date. Probably 30th September. I have agreed this on 1st August. Agreement date will not play an important role but effective date will play an important role in contract terms. I'll be selecting one of the templates. Click on Create. Action. I'll be Simply, it creates a contract request where you just need to put your details, like whatever required for your main agreement, whatever the agreement you want to put, you can put your main agreement. And send this contract for an approval task. So in this case there is nothing more completed. I'm saying nothing is there once it is done. I'm just clicking and publish. The contract status has been published. Now a notification you can enable to configure. Once the contract request is published, email notification should trigger to the parties. So what they will do? They will come here. They will click on create, follow on project. So then they create. Contact workspace procurement. I just give a contact workspace. You can see the. Automatically the description is copied. Created from Contact Request It will also give the effective date, the end date and whatever the amount, which is the gain from the contact request. Here again, you need to select the relevant template which you want to use. The selected Something from the 7 3 is on this contract and add them no and click on a contract. So that's it. So this will be a normal process, like a straight about. We have seen. So here you will also get a link to your previous project. How you will do that? It will be.
predecessor project. So this is nothing but your contract request previously. Once you click on this, it will take you to the contact request which was created. Follow on project. Whatever the content was, space were created from this one. Once you click on that, it will take you to the contact workspace. Basically, contact request permission will be given to many end users who might require a creation of a contract workspace, but they do not have the permission or required role to click on create contact workspace procurement. Why they will not be given? Is so any contact workspace? Clicking on this. Whoever creates a contract workspace to go to the team. He will be the project owner. The person who creates a contract request contract project will be a project owner. If someone creates a contract workspace with this role, project owner, this is called license the users. Maybe I might have discussed this in the initial demo sessions. The license the users will be costly. So, for example, your customer might have taken a subscription. They provide 200 license users. So if the contract any during our period, maybe if they are reviewing for every three months, if it exists, exceeds the 200 limit, then they will go into the next slab and the charges will be according to the user's use. So generally the clients will request periodically, will review number of project owners who are actively using this content workspace and they will either eliminate or they will try to limit them, removing the roles from them so that they are within the scope of agreed licenses. Now let's go to the templates part. No, we'll do one more thing. I'll just show you on how do we create. So let's go to the class. Sorry. Yesterday we have seen. I just want to show a little bit more on that. So either we can open any of the contract works because I will create a brand new. Happy from project. Now I can use something which was created for today. I am just selecting it and automatically. Majority of the information is copied. If you want to change anything, you can change it. This is also one kind of a trick. Suppose you want to fill in all the values of your previous project. But you want to select a different template. You do not want to use this template, but you want to use a different number. How can you do that? You can go back to the same copy from project. Remove that value. No value. Then show that values will remain, but you will be allowed to choose any of the template. Now I am going to select contract workspace template. I am going to select 2323. Yesterday we used this. Just taking something randomly so. Click on create. Going to the documents.
go into documents. Here you can see this. Contract terms. No, we are going to talk pretty about main agreement and contract addendums. Any of your contract can only have one main agreement and you can have n number of contract addendums. Without these two, you will also see documents. I'll upload one file as a document and I will upload one file as a main agreement and I want to show you the difference. I'll click on a document. Choose file. I'm selecting main agreement template. Click on open. So I have selected document document. With this, you can also download any of the attachment. Maybe BM, T, TMP, a text file or a word file or an Excel file. Anything you want to upload you can upload as an attachment. So I am creating a document. Click on create. If you click on done. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel.